it's it's not really it's not really practical to try and get direct headshots. You basically just spray into the prey, baby. Spray into the prey. What? What are they doing? Oh, are they breaking into there? Oh shit! How did that happen? Oh, that's not good. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming. This is Alpha 19 build 177. And uh, experimental, by the way. And we are uh, at Horde Night 35. It's almost Horde Night. So I came over here to Jenny's. I have a couple things to sell, and we also have Amazing. a turn in. Oh, wow. Like she's given reward. us a marksman rifle, too. Wow. Look at the price on that thing. Okay. We're definitely taking that. Um, it's probably not as good as what we have. I hope it isn't just because we'd lose mod slots. But, uh, and then I want to. Do we have... Okay, we got to be getting close to being done with Tier 3, so let's... Those are all... This was pretty close. Yeah, that was pretty close. I think I've got a job it's or the, two. <laughs> it's what we just did. Man, this game's killing me. All right, oh, well, we'll I do it. I mean, it's time. free and easy XP, yeah. and it's in, in town, so... Hygiene and all. All right, let's, um... Let's go ahead and sell some stuff to her. Um, This is a few things we brought back. I did go back into the business strip after I left you guys in the last episode and I I got all the brass out of there. I didn't really loot anything else. I just got the brass. So, uh, and then I, I, I farmed up a little bit more steel too. And plus we have, you know, some down at the base ready to go as well. So Thanks for the business. let's, um, Stay safe out there. you haven't reset your inventory, have you? Day 37. No, if okay. You find any, I come back okay, anyway, last sometime. thing we need to check is which one of our weapons is better. Okay, so our blue one is definitely better. There's not really any reason for us to hang on to that. So let's sell that to her because I've got plenty of rifle parts. So I'm either going to sell it or I'm going to break it down, right? Um, let's sell that to her. Um, by the way, I do have sugar butts and I've got my well, you just brightened my, my stove going on too so I'm glad I can help you all right what do we got in here let's do the usual buy up everything she's got well most everything that she's got and uh, we we need to get on over to the base and get ready to rock and roll we've got one a little over one in-game hour here so I don't think we don't really have any reason to go up into the base so let's go ahead and get ready here. Now I'm going to park the bike here. So if things really go bad for us, we can bail off the side, jump on the bike, and then get chased by boss buzzards for the rest of the night. Oh joy. Um, okay, so yeah, let's go, let's head on up there. I've already, um, stock my my chest with everything we need so we're pretty much ready to go uh, with that we do need to eat so we might as well throw this back now and then we don't have to worry about it later same with this and I'm not even gonna hang on to that stuff let's just get rid of it um okay so let's go ahead and get geared up here so we basically want everything that's in here um, and we're going to have to put a few things back in here that we don't need. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know if I should put that in that chest. I mean, if we actually get overrun, I don't think we will. But if we did, I wouldn't want to, to lose that money. So let's just put a few things in here. Uh, we'll, we'll save the pipe bombs for, for um, you know, when we're out and about questing, because we're going to use nades tonight. We don't need all that iron. We don't need the impact driver. I don't think we need the night vision goggles. I can't think of why we would need those. We don't need the rock busters. I don't even know why that's in my inventory at all. That needs to get sold. We don't need the hammer anymore either, because now we have the nail gun. Um, our junk turret is fully loaded and ready to rock and roll. And now we can put all of that ammo in there, too, and then we still have a little bit of space. So we are loaded for bear, you guys. Loaded for bear. Okay, so let's figure out our toolbar. Um, we definitely want this on the toolbar. Maybe we'll put that in slot one. Um, we got our shotgun in slot two. Maybe we'll put our magnum in slot 
I mean, our shotguns in slot three. We'll put our magnum in slot two. We'll keep the two AKs where they are. We might not end up using this tonight, um, and we probably won't use that either. So let's just keep those in our inventory, and then we're going to want... Um, we've got one big med, and we'll switch these down to here if we end up having to use that. And then, of course, we're going to want nades, and do we want molotovs? Mm, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to do molotovs tonight. I mean, we could. Yeah, what the hell? Let's do it. One thing we need to do, though, if I can remember, is we need to open... I should move this door over to here. I mean, not tonight, of course. Because, you know, sometimes when I throw stuff in here, it gets caught up on there. And if we throw a nade in there, we're going to take... We're going to take some damage. I mean, there's no two ways about it, but I don't think there's much we can do about that right now. Okay, so let's make sure everything's loaded. Um, our shotgun's still going to be our primary weapon tonight. I've got plenty of repair kits to repair it. In fact, you know what? If repair kit's cheap enough, let's just repair it now, and that way it's done. Uh, but I'm also going to use the Magnum a little bit, and I'm going to use the AKs. Uh, probably use the AKs, but we need to we need to really use explosives tonight because... We're going to get maximum uh, XP from those explosives as long... I just have to make sure, like I said, I throw them um, inside of here and not on top of me. Okay, I think, whoop, I think we're ready to go. Let's turn this guy on. Electric fences are cranking out the juice. And uh, <laughs> this is going to be interesting, you guys. This is going to be interesting. We are tier... You know, we're, we're all... Above 91, so we're at the highest... Uh, where the hell is that at? Yeah, we're at the highest game stage. Um, you know, or at least the you know the tier 4 game stage, so... I'm expecting things to, to go pretty bad. We've only died once, too, so that also increases... Um, the toughness of everybody. Okay. Here they come. Horde Knight 35. So the electric fences are doing their job. Yeah, I don't think um, I don't think the Magnum is really going to be our weapon for tonight. Let's just get. Oh shit! I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> it's hard to get these in there. There we go. Seven thousand, almost eight thousand XP just from that one nade. Okay, let's try this again. Got to get a, a little higher. Nope, that's not working either. Ah! <laughs> We're gonna kill ourselves on Horde Knight. Maybe I need to throw it a little bit lower. There we go. Yeah, that that might be the trick. Eight thousand XP. Beautiful. We need to shoot up. Um, some 7.62. We got so much 7.62. Thing is, is, I don't have a lot of skill uh, with machine guns at this point. Okay, so throw it a little bit lower, but at full power. Yep, that's the way to do it. 6,400 and some odd XP. Beautiful. Let's just, we'll save the shotgun until they get closer. Eventually, those those fences are gonna are gonna start to break, and then they'll start you know getting closer. But so far, that first hatch looks like it's holding up really well, and it's because the Zekers are all stun-locked, and so they can't do, you know, they can't do a whole lot of damage to it because they keep getting zapped. So, so far, so good. Okay, we got another level. 
Once again, I forgot to check to see where we were before we started. to repair this weapon here in a few minutes. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, th that first hatch looks like they've taken... Have they taken it down? Yeah, I think they've taken it down just one level so far. I'm basically just keeping my weapon at more or less at head level and just spraying them. <laughs> it's it's not really it's not really practical to try and get direct headshots. You basically just spray into the fray, baby. Spray into the fray. Let's do let's do some more nades here. Fifty seven hundred XP there. Have we got any buzzer jet? I don't think we have. What what are they doing? Oh, are they breaking into there? Oh shit! How did that happen? Oh, that's not good. I didn't think they would would do that. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. One of you guys in the comments, I don't remember who it was that told me this, but one of you guys said that they might do this. And I thought if I would cover that opening up, it wouldn't happen. So, you were right, I was wrong, and this is not good. This is not good at all. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to change that next time. You know, just maybe extend those blocks out a little more so there's just no way they could possibly get in there. I am really surprised, though, that they did that. So whoever you were in the comments that told me this, you can go ahead and tell me you told me so. Hopefully we can survive it, though. Ah, oh, see, they broke through there. All right, well, you know what? Maximum damage with our shotgun, baby. Maximum damage. Let's, um, are they up in the base now? Oh, you know what? It looks like they're, they're coming back this way. Okay, so let's soften them up just a little bit. Oh, yeah! Burn, you monsters! Burn! Okay, let's do that again. At least their their AI is going back into here, right? Ow!
That's not what we want to do. Okay, let's take this moment to repair a little bit here. They don't seem to be hitting as much on the top. It's mostly this middle one here. Okay. Okay, let's get ready with another Molotov. There's plenty of room for that thing to get through the door. There we go. Now we need to be careful ourselves that we don't step into the fire. What did I just say? What did I just say? For the love of Pete. All right, we better not do the Molotovs anymore. It's too risky. It is kind of nice to see him burning like that, though. All right, what if we uh, do a little repair again? Uh, see, we're not doing so bad. We're not doing so bad. Um, what if I stood in this corner? Oh, this is this is gonna hurt. Oh, we got this. I think that's a boss buzzard that's spitting at us. Yeah, he's spitting at us from outside. Okay. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, phew. Okay. I love the fire effect on the Molotovs, man. It looks so good. Okay, repair. Yeah, they brought that all the way down to concrete. Wait. Are we done? It's only 1.30 in the morning. No, it's only 12.30. Really? We're done? <laughs> oh, shit. Really? I think we're done, you guys. We just killed the horde again. Oh, man, that was nuts. Okay, so... Oh, they broke in from the side. Wow, okay. Hmm. We might as well turn this off. Okay, let's put these on. And let's loot first before we do anything else. There I go, hitting that stupid button again. And uh, we need to drink, too. Side effect of, you know, getting caught on fire and all, you get kind of thirsty. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, let's see what we got. Yeah, they took this one down down to, to, to concrete, but no further than that. We, oh shit, man, we, we kicked the shit out of those guys. I mean, we killed the whole damn horde just a little after midnight. They were gone. Oh, man. It didn't quite go down the way I... I had wanted it to, but it went down, man. It went down, and it went down well. More steel. They're giving us steel to help repair stuff. Okay, uh, let's go up here. So they actually busted through this block to get around over here. How interesting. 
How interesting. See, I thought they had, you know, busted through here, but that's not what they did. So, we might have to rethink our strategy with the electric fences. We might have to do that. Okay, let's uh, just scrap that. Can I reach that chest from here? I sure can. Look at that. I'll just put all this stuff in there for now. Oh, nice. Look at that, you guys. A blue steel sledgehammer. We've been carrying around this level one for a long time. Very nice. Okay. That's a nice upgrade. A little socket or a ratchet there. Some steel knuckles. So this thing held up pretty damn good, all you know, all things considered. I mean, because it was taking taking a beating for the first, I don't know, at least the first half of the horde night. So yeah, not bad really if you think about it. In fact, they never they never even took it down from the first level, which is really good. So okay, so what we've got to do is we've got to figure out how to do the fences. Now, one thing I could do, this is going to be a pain in the ass. Oh, oh man, I sure wish I had an auger. But one thing we could do is we could do the same thing, but just hold, you know, have a a, a different standalone structure out here to hold the fence posts and just hold them further out because, you know, they can we can go out quite a ways with them. And then do away with this little pathway here so the AI doesn't think that they can go along it. So yeah, who, wh whoever it was that told me in the comments that they might do that, hats off to you, man. Hats off to you. I wasn't, I wasn't ignoring you. I just thought that if I patched this up here, then, you know, it, then it would be okay. But I was wrong about that, obviously. But thank goodness their stupid AI decided to break in through here instead of just go this way. That is so weird. Why didn't they just break this? Then I would have been in trouble. You know, I would have been in big trouble if they would if they would have gotten all the way through here. Because the only thing between me and that nasty horde would have been just iron bars, and uh, <laughs> that would not have gone well. But, oh man, that is so funny that they decided, here, let's just break through here instead of break this limpy-ass generator to get to them. For some reason, the AI didn't think they could get past here. How bizarre is that? Because I think the damage that's on the generator is probably more splash damage than anything. I mean, it's only a thousand hit points. If they if they concentrated on this, they would shred that thing in seconds. Wow. Really interesting. Really interesting. All right, guys. Well, um, yeah, I've got some, I've got some, uh, some concrete, <laughs> concrete to bust up here. Oh man, I need an auger so bad. This whole area here is gonna have to go. Ouch. Who put those spikes there? Um, yeah, this whole area is going to have to go completely. And I'll probably redo the same basic idea. It's just that I'm going to have to hold the fence posts out and kind of give them their own little standalone, um, you know, pedestal or whatever stand for them to, to, to be on so that there's, again, no pathway through there. How interesting. Okay, guys. Well... That's really pretty much it. I know it's going to be a little bit shorter episode. Well, we're, we're 25 minutes into it, so that's almost a full episode. Um, So, yeah. Sometime between now and Horde uh, 42, I'm going to have to redo that. What I might do is I might wait a couple of days, in-game days, and, you know, see if we can luck out and come across an auger before I start that. And if we can't, then... I'm just going to have to throw down gallons of coffee and br bust all this up by hand and then redo it. Not looking forward to that, but maybe we'll luck out and we'll find an auger. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, um, you know, do, do the repairs on the stuff that we're going to, you know, that's going to stay in place. And we don't really have to do very many repairs. And then... Um, you know, and then then uh, probably you know go from there essentially. But you guys saw you know before before they broke through here, this was working out absolutely fantastic. 
you know they were they were stopped here the fences were were stun locking them so they couldn't really do a whole lot of damage not as much as they could if they hadn't been stun locked and um you know we were going to town on them we were just going to town on them and so this design is still viable it is we just got to redo this part here okay guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this very short but very intense and crazy hard night. There was a moment there where I thought I was in trouble. I really was. Um, until, you know, until they broke uh, broke through the sidewall instead of going over the generator. Again, that just doesn't make sense why they did that. But I'm glad that they did because if they hadn't, it might not have gone well for us. But it did. Uh, how many levels did we get to, by the way? Okay, we actually went up two levels and we're, we're you know, two-thirds of the way to the next level. So, you know, good on us for that too, huh? Um, yeah, so that's it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do, but we've got to be getting really close to tier four uh, questing. And um, so, you know, it'll be cool. All right, guys, catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.